Today, I want to uh, read something to you from the very beginning of volume two of uh, Malfuzad for uh, this, which shows the character of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Sahib. There was some discussion about treatment of women and uh, Hazrat Sahib said that apart from obscene behavior, men should tolerate all the bitterness uh, or harshness of women. It seems dishonorable to me that men should be hostile or harsh with women. And uh, the fact that God created us as a male should mean that we should thank his blessings. And one way of thanking his blessing is by treating women gently and kindly. And uh, someone complained that a member of Jamaat mistreated his wife and uh, Hazrat Sahib responded by saying, at least members of my Jamaat should not behave in this manner. And another time, when someone mentioned some, uh, another person's short temper, Hazrat Sahib said, as far as I'm concerned, once I spoke in a loud voice, and that loud voice came because of the hurt that my heart uh, felt. And although the voice was loud, I did not utter I did not utter any word or sentence that was harsh or hurtful. Even so, for a long time after that, I sought forgiveness from uh, Allah. And I said many voluntary prayers in expiation. And I gave something in charity. And uh, because I thought that speaking to my wife in a loud voice was a sign of displeasure of God with me. Another time, his son, Mia Mahmud Ahmed, burnt down the draft of a book that Hazrat Sahib had uh, written. And of course, everyone was concerned when this was mentioned to him. And Hazrat Sahib said, well, God must have some hidden intention in this. It may be that he wanted to put in my mind a better way of dealing with this subject than uh, I had intended. In the same way, uh, it was reported to Hazrat Sahib at one stage that Hazrat Maulana Nuruddin was extremely worried and embarrassed even to come in front of him because Hazrat Sahib had given Maulana uh, a draft of a book he'd written uh, for proofreading and Maulana Nuruddin had lost it. Had lost it. And uh, Hazrat Sahib uh, uh, said when he heard how concerned and embarrassed Maulana was and uh, Hazrat Sahib said, I am very sorry about this that Maulana Sahib wasted so much time in looking for something that could not be found. My belief is that if this has happened, it is because God wanted to put in my mind better arguments than I had in, uh, in that uh, draft that I had uh, given him. One day he was very ill and he, he suffered from migraine, so he had a migraine. And uh, there were some children and ladies who were uh, outside in the yard playing. And uh, there was a lot of noise 
مولانا مولوی عبد الکریم صاحب آف سیال کوٹ سو دس اینڈ ہی سو دیٹ ہیز اے صاحب آف فیلنگ ڈس کمفرٹ اینڈ ہی آسٹ سر ڈونٹ یو فائنڈ دس نو از پین فل اینڈ حضر صاحب سیٹ یس آئی فائنڈ اٹ کمفرٹنگ اف دے کوائٹ اینڈ مولانا عبد الکریم سیٹ وائی ڈونٹ یو دین اوڈ اے دم ٹو بی کوائٹ اینڈ حضرت صاحب سیٹ نو آئی کین ناٹ اوڈ اے دم ٹو ڈو اینی تھنگ اف یو کین جینٹلی ریکویسٹ دم ٹو بی کوائٹ دین دیٹ از اوکے اینڈ دین اگین فورگیونس ون ڈے حضرت صاحب سو دیٹ سم ممبرز آف ہز ہاؤس ہولڈ وہ گیدر راؤنڈ دس سرونٹ وومن اینڈ دے واز کولڈنگ ہر اینڈ ٹیلنگ ہر آف اینڈ سو آن اینڈ حضرت صاحب آسٹ وٹ دا میٹر واز اینڈ دے سیٹ دیٹ دیٹ کوٹ ہر اسٹیلنگ سم رائٹس اینڈ دس از وائی دے واز کولڈنگ ہر اینڈ دس از وٹ حضرت صاحب سیٹ ٹو دیز پیپل شی از نیڈی Give her some. Don't scold her. Adopt the way of God, which is to forgive people their shortcomings. And then another time, Hazrat Sahib, Mawlana Abdul Karim of Sihal Court went to see Hazrat Sahib and he had to wait for a long time because, because there were some women and children who were there. And uh, Hazrat Sahib was a Hakeem. and he was prescribing medication for them. And uh, Maulana uh, Abdul Karim said to uh, uh, the Promised Messiah, this is a very difficult task that you have to make, prescribe medication for uh, so many people. He wasn't only just prescribing, he then used to actually make the medication as well and give it to people. <coughs> and your valuable time is wasted in this task. Hazrat Sahib said, but this is propagation of Islam as well. This was his point. Whatever you do, if you do it honestly, you can propagate Islam with that. So Hazrat Sahib said, this is religious work as well. These people are needy. There is no hospital. And it is only for the sake of these people that I buy and store all types of uh, uh, medication, allopathic and homeopathic. And uh, when the time comes, these prove uh, useful. This is something for which there is great reward. That is helping the needy. This is something for which there is great reward. And a person who is a true believer A person who is a true believer would not be lazy or ignorant in making sure that uh, he undertakes such tasks. So I thought I will, uh, that there is another one uh, over the page which is about striking uh, children and uh, Hazrat Sahib says that um, beating children is um, amounts to shirk because what you are saying is that I am the equal of God just because just the way he can punish you I can punish you uh, as well if they do something wrong you should explain to them advise them perhaps even tell them off but the best way is to pray that God puts goodness in their uh, heart. And then he said, every day, first I pray for myself that God may entrust those things to me which show His glory and majesty. And then he said, I pray for members of my household. And he used that Quranic expression may there be the coolness of their eyes, that the members of my household may prove coolness of my eyes and 
they walk along paths of Allah. Then he said, I pray for my children. And this is interesting. He doesn't pray for uh, them to get the big scholarships or get big degrees or a lot of money and so on. I pray for my children that they should be servants of this religion and serve it. And then for my sincere friends by name and then the whole of this Jamaat, all the people who are in it, whether uh, they are known to me or not known to me. I pray for all of them uh, every, uh, every day. So I thought I'll read these things to you. I've read to you what the Promised Messiah said about various things. But I wanted to share some thoughts with you about how he actually behaved in uh, many instances. <laughs>